Okay. Thank you. So I will mute everybody. And let's begin sitting in easy pose or <clears throat> crisscross applesauce or if Lotus is there for you. I like to sit on a block because my hips are just not that open and my knees are in my ears. So I like to sit on a block and you might wanna consider sitting on a block or a pillow too if your hips, if your knees are higher than your hips. You want your hips to be at least level with the knees. So taking a comfortable seat, Let's draw the shoulders all the way up to the ears. Take a big inhale, feel the tension, and then exhale through the mouth. Let the tension go, let the breath go. And then let's do that again. And squeeze, 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 and then exhale out through the mouth. And then one more time for good measure. Inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale through the mouth. Roll your shoulders back a few times. You can move as slowly as you like and forward. And then let the shoulders relax. Flip the palms up if you feel like you'd like to Receive, if you feel that you need a little bit more grounding and calming, turn the palms down. If it's comfortable, close the eyes and just focus or bring your attention to the breath as you're inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. If you're stuffy or just finishing a cold like I am, you may need to Breathe through the mouth, which is perfectly fine. But if you're clear, bringing your attention to the air as it's traveling in through the nose and out of the nose and just noticing, is your breath light and shallow? Is it long and deep? Could be short and choppy. Do you feel the movement maybe in your chest only or your belly? You don't have to make any changes, just noticing how that prana, how that breath is feeding your body, your container. And softening the elbows and the fingers and the shoulders a little bit more. And let's begin to deepen the inhales by drawing the breath down into the belly, feeling it expand. And exhale completely, feeling it contract, drawing the belly in. And then offering the three part yogic breaths. So on your next inhale, draw the belly in, the breath into the belly. Feel the belly filling up. Draw the breath up to the ribs, a little higher up to the upper ribs, and then exhale completely. Breathing normally. We'll try that again. After next exhalation, inhale, feel your belly expand. Hold it. Draw the breath up to the lower ribs. Hold it, upper ribs, maybe even up to the collarbones and hold it just for as long as you can with comfort. And then exhale through the nose if possible, feeling the release down from upper, middle, and to the belly. Breathing naturally. We'll do it one more time before we start moving. And then after your next exhale, let's try it again. Inhale through the nose. Feel your belly expand. 
Draw it up to the ribs. Upper ribs or collarbones. And when you're ready, exhale, breathe normally, naturally. And then after your next exhale, let the chin release down to your heart. Feel the back of your neck opening up. Shoulders are relaxed. You're still sitting up nice and tall. There's a little curve in your lower back. And then roll the right ear to the right shoulder. Stay here. Feel the left shoulder releasing. Feel the openness on the left side. Bring your left hand down to the ground outside that left hip and walk the left fingertips out to the left. So much that your fingers are just barely touching the ground and stretch the fingers down and away from you. And then place your right hand on top of your head gently and allow the weight of your hand to encourage a little more opening on the left side of your neck without any pulling or pushing. Let your hands slide to the back of your head and then gently push your head back a little bit. Draw your right elbow back. And then place your left hand on your lap and the right hand. Let your head release down to your heart and then continue to let the left ear swing over to the left shoulder. And maybe make any adjustments. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders down and back and feel how the stretch migrates to the right side. And then place your right fingers down on the ground and walk the right fingers away from you. And then place your left hand on top of the head and your fingers might graze the top of that right ear. Maybe not, it's just pointing in the same direction and reach those right fingers down and away and feel the stretch from the right fingers up that right arm, the right side of the neck. And then let the left hand slide to the back of your head, push your head back a little bit, draw that left elbow back. And then place your right hand back on your lap and the left and then let the head release all the way down and offer a full 360, but gently. So moving very slowly. And if you'd like to nurse, if there's a certain part of your neck that feels a little creaky, you can stay there or back out of it. Change the direction when you're ready. And then lift the head all the way back up. And gently opening the eyes. And then place your hands down. You can come off your block or your pillow. Step your feet out. I'll back up in a little bit so that you can, so that you can um, see my body. Turn your palms either there. So your hands are behind your shoulders just a little bit. And you can turn your hands sideways or forwards, whatever is more comfortable for you. Arms stay straight. Roll your right shoulder back and your left shoulder back. And then lift your hips up for reverse tabletop. So at your hips come up, look down at your belly. Feel the stretch for your hips, the psoas. And then come all the way back down. Straighten your legs, bounce your knees up and down. And now change the cross of the legs. And you can stay off your block at this point because we're going to start moving a little bit more. So changing the cross of your legs, interlace your hands in front of you, flip the palms out, arms are straight. And then inhale the arms all the way up. Breathe here. Keep reaching the arms up, feel the sides opening up, the back of your ribs opening up. Let your hands come all the, by, all the way back down. Bring your fingertips on the ground behind you, turn the fingernails forward, push the ground, and then lift the heart up. 
towards the sky, but keep your chin down. So your elbows will be bending just a little bit. Keep the chin down, keep feeling the scapulas turning in, the heart lifting up. <clears throat> and then let the heart, the back straighten all the way back up and then forward fold. Gently let the head go. And walk your hands over to the left. Right hand comes over the left. Let your head come down over that left knee. Keeping that right hip on the ground. Walk the hands forward and over to the right. Left hand come on top of the right hand. Walk your hands forward and come all the way back up. Now let's stretch that left leg out to the side and bend your right knee and your heel is right in the center of the pelvis. So your left toes and knee are straight up towards the sky and your left arm, palm is up, is pushing against the inside of that left leg. Right hand is on the right hip, roll your right shoulder back. Reach your right arm straight up, inhale, and exhale that arm over the ear. Inhale that right arm straight back up towards the sky. Exhale, reach it over the ear again. One more time, inhale the right arm straight up towards the sky, and exhale, reach that arm over the ear. Press that left thigh down, toes are up, knees are up. Feel the extreme stretch on the right side. You can feel it behind the ribs, sides of the ribs, the front of the ribs. Some of us might be able to hold the left toe net, the left toes. Maybe both hands can hold the foot. If you're there, keep that right shoulder rolling back. And then inhale, straighten your back. Arm comes up, right hand comes down behind you, press your fingertips down behind you or the hand, point your left toes, feel the stretch of the left toes. Now lift the hips up and begin to circle that left arm all the way up and around. And then let the hips come all the way back down. Very nice. And then switch whenever you're ready, take your time. So now the right leg is out to the side, toes are up, knees and toes facing the ceiling. My left heel is at, as, as in the center of my pelvis as possible. Right arm is up, pressing against the right leg. Maybe your elbow is on the ground, maybe not, it's okay. Left hand on, the sh on your hip to start, roll the left shoulder back. Feel your belly button turning up towards the sky and then reach that left arm straight up. So left shoulder back, right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Inhale here, turn the left palm towards your right foot. Exhale, reach that left arm over the ear. Inhale, reach that left arm up. And exhale, stretch it over. Inhale up. And exhale, stretch it over. Stay here and breathe. You can hold your foot if that feels good to you. If not, you're still getting a beautiful stretch. Feeling the openness now on the left side. Breathing into those intercostal muscles. And then reach that left arm up straight near your torso. Let the left hand flow down behind you. Press your fingers down into the ground. Point the right toes. Feel the top of that right foot stretching and opening, and then lift your hips up and begin to sweep that right arm all the way around. Take your time. And you might even feel that stretch down that right side body as you sweep that arm all the way up and around. Really nice. Now bring your feet into butterfly. Interlace your hands around the soles of your feet, maybe around the toes, or you can hold the ankles if that feels okay. Shoulders are down. Turn the creases of the elbows up. You can close your eyes if that's comfortable. Otherwise, just keep the eyes, the eyelids gently relaxing towards each other. Your mouth is soft. 
the hinge of your jaw is soft. And then let the knees stop. Inhale up through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, let the elbows come outside the shins. Let your chin go, your back will round. Let the head go completely. Shoulders are soft, elbows are soft. Feel the back of your neck opening up. Insides of the legs are opening up gently. And then lift yourself all the way back up. Very nice. Cross at the ankles, roll over onto your hands and knees coming into tabletop. Okay, so coming into tabletop at the top of your mat, fingers are spread nice and wide right under your shoulders. You can give the hips a little wiggle from side to side. And then let's begin with some cat-cow. So push the ground away, chin to chest, tuck your pelvis under, draw your belly button up towards the sky, and then release, belly button relaxes. Let your belly just hang as you inhale, look straight ahead, and then exhale, push all the air out and draw your belly button all the way up towards the sky, and then inhale, let the belly be full, Look straight ahead and then continue to flow back and forth. Beautiful. Taking a neutral spine. From here, lift your, or let's straighten the right leg straight out. So right leg is extended straight out off the ground. Bend your right knee, point your toe up towards the ceiling and lift the toe up, but keep that right knee bent. Now cross that right knee over the left shin and maybe it taps down to the ground. Look over your left shoulder at your right foot. Then inhale, lift that toe all the way up. Exhale, bring that right knee and tap the right elbow. Inhale, the toe comes up. Exhale, cross that knee over the left shin, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, lift the toe up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. One more time. Inhale, toe comes up. Exhale, cross that right knee over the left, look over the left shoulder. Last time, lift that toe up knee to elbow, and then lower that right knee next to the left. Let's shift the knees back, tuck your toes, come into downward facing dog, pedal out your feet, and then we'll do the other side in a moment. So pedal out your feet here, feel your fingers spread nice and wide, sink into one hip and then the other, feel the backs of your legs stretching. Straighten your legs, bend your knees a lot, lift the hips up towards the sky, feel your heart stretching towards your thighs. Keep the knees bent as you feel your hips lifting up towards the sky. Then maybe straighten your legs. Really nice, look back between your hands, come back onto hands and knees. Awesome, now let's stretch the left leg out behind you. Lift the left leg up, point the left toes, and then point those left toes way up towards the sky, and now cross that left knee over the right, tap down, look over your right shoulder, and feel that stretch on the left side. Inhale, uncross the leg, lift the toes up again towards the sky, and then tap left elbow, to, uh, left knee to left elbow, look over the left shoulder. And then continue going back and forth. Look over the right. So this is a nice gentle hip opener and side opener. Okay. 
And after your last tap of the left knee and left elbow, you can lower that knee back down. Let's bring the knees together and the feet together. Tuck your toes under, walk your hands in towards your knees, and then open and close your wrists. And if it's too much to sit on your feet like this, you can bring your hands down or just untuck the toes. But the point is to open up the backs of your feet and your toes. And it definitely takes a little bit of time to get used to that. All right. Bring your hands back down to the ground and then tap out your toes. Shake it out. Shift your knees back again. Tuck the toes under. Lift the hips up. Downward facing dog. Lift your right leg straight up towards the sky. Rotate your ankle. Lift that leg up as high as you can. Look at the top of the mat and step that right foot in between your hands. Now you might be on blocks here. Totally, totally fine, totally good. Give your hips a little wiggle from side to side. Let's get into our hips a little bit more. Heel toe your right foot more towards the right. And then bring your right hand inside that right leg. So you're gonna keep your legs exactly as they are. And now begin to walk your hands to the, to the left. So you're walking your hands to the left, keep that right knee bent, and then walk your hands out in front of your shoulders, push your butt back, but turn the left hip down towards the ground. So you feel that big stretch on the right side. It's opening up the left hip. And then walk your hands forward and then lift your right arm up and over that right leg, twisting towards the right. And then the left hand comes up and over towards the right. Keep that right knee bending. And then keep walk the hands forward. Now lower your left knee to the ground and bring your arms up for Anjaneyasana. Now, if this does not feel good in your lower back, press your front foot down with the torso up, reach those arms up. If your lower back feels amazing, you can let the hips descend down, reach the arms up. Beautiful. Bring your hands down either to the ground or to blocks. Tuck your back toes, lift that back knee, and then begin to straighten your legs and fold forward. And then continue, bend that knee, look straight ahead, lift the hips up so you're flowing back and forth here. It's okay if that front leg does not straighten. And being mindful here, we want the left hip forward and the right hip back and in towards the midline. And then the next time your legs are straight, Walk your left hand more to the left. You could be on fingertips or a block. Raise that right arm all the way up. Reach the right arm up, roll that right shoulder back. Nice, right hand comes down. Bend your front knee and then step that right leg back for a plank. Belly button up towards the sky, tailbone back, pelvis tucking forward, hips up, downward facing dog. Really nice. Let's come to a plank one more time. Lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes. Reach your arms back. Head on the floor. Lift everything up for locusts. Toes are pointed. Reach your fingers back. Turn the pinkies up, thumbs down. Breathing here. Strong backs. Roll those shoulder blades back. Feel the heart lifting up towards the sky. Keep your eyes towards the floor, three feet in front of you. Maybe tip your chin down a little bit. Feel your neck opening up. And then lower all the way down to the ground. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Push back onto hands and knees. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Okay, left leg comes up. Rotate that left ankle. Both directions. Look straight ahead and step that left foot in between your hands. 
You can be on blocks here. Give the hips a little wiggle from side to side. Opening up the hips a little more. Then heel toe that left foot over towards the left side of your mat. Bring your left hand inside the left leg. Keep your feet exactly as they are. Walk your hands to the right. So the more you walk your hands towards the back of the mat, the more you'll feel the stretch, but a little dab will do you. You don't need to walk it that much. It's very deep. You can also walk your hands more forward in front of your shoulders, push your butt back, turn that right hip down. That's really getting into the juicy stuff. Some people like to bring their elbows out, do a little heart push up, and walk your hands forward. Left arm comes up and over your leg. Right arm comes over. You might have to hoist your belly up and over that leg. And then hands come down, lower that right knee, and arms come up onto the asana. You can press your front foot down, lift the torso up, feel the ears are, behind, are in line with your arms, and you decide if you'd like the hips to descend down. Feel your ribs expanding, heart is open. Yogi's choice if you like that back toe tucked or untucked. Beautiful, bring your hands all the way down to the ground, or to blocks, whatever height feels good to you. Tuck your toes, lift that back knee. And you can only start out with blocks and then decide you don't want them. Okay, lift your hips up, begin to straighten your legs. And then flowing back between low lunge, look straight ahead and straightening your legs. That right heel will be off the ground because they're they were um, separated so long. So it's not a true Parjwal Tanasana. It's just a good stretch. And then the next time your legs are straight, walk your right hand more to the right. It might even be off the mat. Left arm comes up. Reach the left arm up. Roll the left shoulder back. Nice, bring your left hand inside the left foot and then turn your feet towards the right. So now we're in an open V. Look at your toes. We want the toes to be in a line. Bring your hands on your hips, shoulders away from ears, draw your elbows together so they're pointing up towards the sky and with the flat back come all the way up to standing. Beautiful. Okay, so your toes are forward. Keep your hands on your hips. Shoulders are down and away from your ears. Now roll the shoulders back. Thumbs are behind you, fingers are forward. Look up at the sky. Feel your heart opening up. Draw your elbows together. Inhale here and then exhale with a flat back with the heart lead the way as you forward fold, hinging at the hips. And you can always turn around if you want and, and face me, that's totally cool. Bring your hands on the ground, right underneath your shoulders, let the elbows soften. And then as you inhale, straighten your arms, look straight ahead. Exhale, fold, let the crown of the head hang down. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale here and exhale. Stay here, let the crown of the head face the ground. Some of us might have the head on a block, crown of the head on a block. You can open your legs a little bit more, maybe the crown of your head is on the ground or it's just hanging. You can have your hands outside of your feet if that feels okay, or behind you between the legs with the palms down. Whatever feels best for you. And then 
bring your hands back under your shoulders, straighten your arms. Let's walk your hands, turn towards the front of your mat, turn your toes towards the front of the mat, bend your left leg, and then step that right foot forward. Open your feet, hips distance, bend your knees, bring your right hand on your thigh and your left hand on your thigh, and keep a flat back as you push yourself all the way up to standing. Very nice. Roll the shoulders back a few times and then forward. Inhale the arms all the way up. Hook the thumbs together, palms face forward. Now let's heel toe the feet together. Reach those arms up and crescent to the right. Breathe here. Bend your knees. Straighten your legs. Keep that left shoulder back. Inhale it up. Exhale to the other side. Bend the knees. Straighten your legs. Inhale all the way back up. Bring your hands to prayer. Balance on your toes. Let your prayer come down to your heart. Stay on your toes. Shoulders are relaxed and let your prayer rest against your heart. Now imagine you're sliding down a wall and let the knees bend, but keep your back and the back of your head sliding against the wall. Come to your squat. So your squat might be right here. It might be all the way down. Everybody's gonna be in a different place, keeping the eyes soft and the face soft. And then slowly come all the way back up. Arms come up and let the heels come down. Arms come out to the sides. Swan with the flat back down towards the ground. Hands on shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Keep your chin tucked. Exhale and fold. Reverse. Come all the way back up. Look up. Bring your hands to prayer. Pull the prayer down to your heart. Close your eyes. Rest your right hand on your heart. Left hand below the belly button. Take a few breaths. And opening the eyes, release your hands. Let's come into tree pose. So find a spot to focus on. When you're ready, shifting your weight into your left foot, turn your right foot to the side and then lift that leg up. Maybe keep, you can actually keep the right toes bouncing on the ground or lift that right foot a little higher, or, or all the way up the left side of your leg, pressing your hands into your heart, shoulders are down, breathe here. And reach your arms all the way up if that feels good. So nice, bring your hands back to prayer. And then set that right foot behind you and turn it out 45 degrees. So look at the right toes and see that the toes are in line with the upper right corner of your mat. And then heel toe that left foot over towards the left. Setting up for warrior one, bend that left knee, reach your arms up. So right hip forward, left hip back, reach those arms up. Bend the knee as much as you can. Now turn your palms out, and then you're going to extend your arms all the way out and all the way down to your body, straighten that left leg. And now we're gonna flow. Inhale, bend that left knee, arms come up. And exhale, straighten your legs, circle the arms down. Inhale, arms come up. Turn the palms out, straighten them and come down. Continue, inhale, 
Look straight ahead, keeping the eyes soft. Exhale, arms out. Last time, inhale. And exhale. From here, let's bring our hands on our hips. Now, we're gonna come into warrior three. Turn your back toes forward, lift the back heel, and then launch right onto that left leg. So you can begin your warrior three with your right toes just bouncing on the ground, and then begin to lift that right leg up. Crown of the head forward, right leg up, and then reach your arms behind you, palms facing up. So you decide how high you wanna lift that leg up. If this is like, this is so, I can do more, bring your arms in front, framing your ears. That's the full expression, but it's all warrior three. And then slowly come up to standing, let your arms relax, roll the shoulders back, bend your knees, shake it out, let it go. Good job. And then let's do the other side. So find a spot to focus on, shift your weight into the right foot. And then when you're ready, coming into your version, your tree, you can have the foot balancing, the toe balancing on the ground, or lift it up as high inside the leg as is comfortable. Draw that right hip in towards the middle. Hands at prayer, shoulders relaxed, breathing. And reach the arms up. And then bring your hands back to prayer, down to your heart, and step that left leg back and turn it out 45 degrees. Heel toe your right foot more towards the right. Bend your right knee, arms come up, warrior one. So left hip forward, right hip back, chest and shoulders are facing the front of your mat. Reach the fingers up, feel the ribs, your back ribs, your side ribs, your front ribs, opening up. Turn your palms out, begin to straighten your legs and circle the arms all the way down. Inhale, bend that knee, reach the arms up. Exhale, circle down. Continue in your own time, connecting breath to movement. And then the next time you straighten your leg, bring your hands on your hips, turn your back foot forward, begin to start pitching forward. You can bend your front knee in order to launch yourself more forward. And then straighten that leg, begin to lift the left leg up, left hip down, left leg up. Maybe reach your arms back, palms face up. Arms are in line with your your hips. Maybe arms come in front. And then slowly bring your arms up, bring your left leg down and let your hands circle all the way down. Roll the shoulders back and forth. Really nice. Let's open our feet, mat's distance, turn the toes out just a little bit, and we'll come to our squat, Malasana. So some people like to sit on a block, just like that. Others can come down 
and keep your um, arms inside the legs. I'm taking a few breaths here. If it's comfortable, you can close your eyes and bring your prayer right your head down to your prayer. If not, you can keep the eyes open, looking straight ahead. From here, bring your hands behind you, turn the toes forward and gently lower your seat down to the ground. Stretch your legs long, bounce the knees up and down. Let's flex your feet, press the thighs down, reach your arms up, inhale. And exhale, forward fold, let the head go. And slowly roll yourself up, bend your knees, scoot your seat forward, arms come out, shoulders down. And then slowly lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Walk your feet in towards your seat. Toes are facing forward, the front of your mat. From here, let's offer a few dynamic bridge stretches. So pressing the back of your head down, inhale, hips come up, arms come up. And it could be any amount, it could be an inch, it could be way higher. Exhale, lower the butt down, arms come down. Inhale, lift the hips up, arms come up. Exhale, lower your seat and your arms. Inhale, hips up, arms up. Exhale, lower. So you can, can continue with those, or you can stay with the hips up and then bring your arms back down, interlace your hands, roll the shoulders under, coming into a bridge. Feel the stretch of the hip flexors, your psoas, heart opening up. And then release your hands Lower your hips down, let the butt hit the ground first, keeping that natural curve of your spine. Then let the shoulders come out. Open your feet, mat's distance. And then let the knees release over to the right and let the arms come out a little bit wider, palms face up. Turn your head towards the left. Lift the head up, bring your knees up, and then let the knees go to the left. Head turns towards the right. And then bring your knees all the way back up. Heel toe your feet together. And then let's hug the knees. Separate the knees. Flex your feet. Let's come into happy baby. So hold over the toes. So you're holding over the toes, imagining the ceiling is coming down on the soles of your feet. Now lengthen your tailbone down towards the ground and feel how that nicely lengthens your lower back. Let the shoulders relax, elbows are soft. And then you can hold on to your big toes with your uh, point your finger and your middle finger or your peace fingers. And if you'd like to rock from side to side, that feels like a nice massage for your back. You can roll all the way onto that left knee, maybe even left elbow, and then straighten that right leg out to the side. So pulling your right leg over and to the right. And then re-bend that right knee, come back to center, rolling onto that right knee, maybe right elbow, and then push your left foot up towards the sky and the left toes more towards the left. And then re-bend that left knee, come back to your back and maybe opening up the legs out to the sides.
Beautiful, bring your knees together. Really nice, hug the knees with your right arm, left arm out to the side and let the knees release over to the right. Let the hand rest on that left knee. Feel your left shoulder relaxing down towards the ground. And it's okay if it's hovering a little bit. Eyes are closed and feel how your belly is moving with your breath here. And let's slow the breath down, inhaling to the count of four and exhaling. So it could be inhaling two, three, four, and X, two, three, four. Continuing in your own time. If your knees don't touch the ground, they could be on a block or a bolster or a pillow. If your hand is not comfortable on your knee, you can let that hand go. And then release that breath. Bring the left knee up to the sky and then the right knee up. Hug your legs with the left arm. Right arm comes out to the side. And then when you're ready, right hip comes up and over the left, twisting to the other side. Let the knees release. Let that right arm relax down to the ground, feeling that big twist in your spine feeling of your metabolism being ignited with this nice twist, feeling your heart open, the collarbones are wide, right shoulder releasing down towards the ground, and observing the, your fingers on the right hand, are they straight out, are they curling a little bit? And then continuing with that belly breath counting on the left side or on this other side, inhaling two, three, four, and X, two, three, four, and continue. And then let that go. And then bring your knees back up to center. Hug the knees, bring your head to your knees, squeeze like a tight ball, squeeze everything contracting, and then release everything out into Shavasana. Let your feet flop out to the sides, arms a comfortable distance from the body, palms face up. As you inhale, feel your body light and lifting. And as you exhale, feel your, the heaviness, the groundedness down towards the earth. Inhale, light and lift. Exhale, grounding, calming.
Bringing your attention to the feeling of life inside the palms of your hands. Feeling any tingling or heat in your fingers. Bring your attention to your toes and your feet, sensing any life, any activity inside. Bring your attention to your heartbeat. Feeling the vibration moving down to your belly, up into your neck and face. Feeling a warm, healthy glow in your body, around your body. I am healthy. I am at peace. I am alive. And gently beginning to wiggle your fingers and your toes. <clears throat> stretch your arms overhead for one last full body stretch. And when you're ready, bending your knees, rolling onto any comfortable side, taking three nurturing breaths. And pushing yourself up to a comfortable cross-legged position when you're ready. Bringing your hands to prayer. And then raising your prayer up to the Anya Chakra, pressing there and bowing down in deepest gratitude for the gift of yoga and the peace and joy it brings to your entire body, mind and soul every time you practice. Have a beautiful day, namaste. Have a great holiday.